Hello guys, welcome back to another Home of Nail Art tutorial. Today we're going to be going over ombre in three different ways using all Hona products, so stay tuned for hot tips. The first look we're going for is the classic baby boomer, so we're going to be using these little Hona sponges that conveniently pop right into the lids of your brushes. Now you can use this dry or you can use it wet, I'm going to show you the difference right now. So I'm just dabbing the dry sponge straight into a pot of white detail paint and I'm going to dab off the excess here as well. It's really important to dab off the excess so that you can get a really nice blend of ombre. So it's almost pressing the product into the sponge and then once that's on the nail it's not going to be a blob of white, it's going to be much more gradient. I'm just tapping this onto the tip here, so I've got a base of pink cloud underneath, I've left the tacky layer on that, or you can wipe it down, it's up to you, I prefer to use it with the tacky layer because I find it blends a little bit better, and I'm just tap tap tapping, and then once I'm happy I can pop that into the lamp to cure. As you can see it applies perfectly fine, however I do find it's even better when the sponge is wet, so let's stop here and I'll show you the difference. So I'm just going to press a little bit of water into the sponge, squeeze out the excess water and you can see the size difference here. The dry sponge is super effective but just like a beauty blender I find that a wet sponge works better than a dry one. The difference between the two is really subtle but I do find that it's worth doing for that seamless blend. So once I'm happy with the application here I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure before we move on to the second layer. So I've cured that for 30 seconds and I'm going to move on to the second layer. So again we're starting at the bottom and you can see the pigment starting to pull through a little bit more and I'm just going to work that product further up the nail until I'm happy with how far up it goes and how pigmented it is at the bottom. If you're blending and there's a bit too much product then just turn your sponge to an area that doesn't have as much product just to blend it out a bit more. Then I've cured that for another 30 seconds and I'm adding a bit more white to the bottom blending it up still but more of a focus towards the tip of the nail. So this is the final result, I'm happy with the way that it looks and with the blend so I'm going to go in with my super shine top coat, apply that all over the nail, not forgetting to cap the free edge as well and then once I'm happy I can pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Out of the lamp you can see the top coats blended it even more, I'm really happy with the final result and it's so so easy to achieve this with the little sponges. Moving on to our second ombre, we're going to need the large round full coverage brush. I'm using Aria and Wednesday's detail paints. I've chosen detail paints that are in the same category, so both of these colours are neon, both of them are really vivid and similar on the colour spectrum, so I know that they're going to blend really easily. I'm just starting off by applying red on the one side and pink on the other side, wiping my brush off in between and then I'm just going to swipe up and down the centre of this nail to get the gradient. Once I've blended as much as I can I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds and then I'm doing exactly the same applying red on one side and pink on the other. If there's a little bit too much product on your brush after you've applied the pink and the red then you can wipe off the brush a little bit and then start swiping down the centre of the nail. I'm applying a good amount of pressure when I'm doing this and I'm just blending, blending, blending until I'm happy with the way that it looks. You can also move your brush slightly to the left and the right just to merge the colours a little bit more as well and again if you need to just wipe your brush off and then keep blending. Once you're happy with the way that it looks you can pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds or you can apply a third layer of detail paints before you top coat. Completely up to you but you should be able to get the results in just two layers. Sometimes you need a little bit more though, ombre can be a little bit tricky. So I'm just applying top coat all over the nail, not forgetting to cap the free edge and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And this is the final result for our vertical ombre, I think it's quite effective and as long as you're choosing similar colours they should blend quite seamlessly. Moving on to our third and final ombre, I'm popping matte top coat all over the top of buff gel polish, covering the nail plate and I'm going to pop that into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Next I'm going to take my mica powder in Barbie pink and my fluffy brush and start dabbing that into the nail plate. Mm -hmm. 
Once you're happy with how high the pigment goes up the nail plate or the nail tip in this case, you can go in with another layer of matte top coat and then we can cure that for 60 seconds and apply another layer of pigment. I'm going to focus the product more towards the tip of the nail rather than the middle or the top just because I want the tip to be the most pigmented. And once I'm happy with the colour I can go straight in with my super shine top coat, popping that all over the nail plate and then cure in for 60 seconds. And there you have it, a really super subtle but pretty ombre. I really hope you enjoy watching this video on ombre in three different ways. Please, please let me know what you thought in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye!